Hey folks, Adam Dukes here. Welcome to this brand new video series. It's going to be 25 videos over the course of the next six or so weeks on how to build sales funnels, how to set up lead magnets, how to set up landing pages, how to sell digital products, how to sell memberships, subscriptions, creating your own affiliate program, hosting videos, all within one single tool, one simple tool, I should say, system.io. It's a tool that I've been using for the last several months and I absolutely love it for a few reasons. It's simple to use, it's very affordable, and they have fantastic customer support. And I've used all the funnel builders on the market and by far this is the simplest one to use and without a doubt, the best customer service as well. So like I said, if you're interested in this video series on how to leverage this tool in your business to earn more money, to work more efficiently, to work less, but still earn more, make sure you subscribe down below. Click that little bell notification because it'll alert you of every time I release a new video in this training series. Also, if you'd like to check out system.io, it's a 100% free account. It's not a free trial. It's a free account. Check out the link down below, adamdukes.com forward slash SYS. You'll get access to just about $600 in bonuses that I'm giving you completely for free if you sign up for system today. So if you're interested in that, check it out down below, adamdukes.com forward slash SYS. In this training, I'm gonna show you how to set up a checkout form or order form uh, within system.io. It's a relatively straightforward process. There's a couple of things that I wanna to highlight to show you to not screw it up because when I first got started using it, there's a couple things that I forgot and when people purchased the program, they weren't added to the program and I look like an idiot. So I wanna make sure you don't look like an idiot when you start selling your digital products with system.io. So let's dive right in. So as you can see, we're inside our funnels tab here. So we just go up to funnels here. We're gonna open up our QC funnel that we did in the previous video on day number nine it was our quick confidence uh, training program or quick confidence challenge this fake course that I'm creating so we open up here and then what we're gonna need to do is create a checkout page or an order form page so we'll click step and it'll say order form and we'll scroll down and we'll click on order form here, click save. We're gonna drag this up between the sales page and also the thank you page, because it needs to be in order. It goes from uh, sales page to order form to confirmation page. So we have our order form here. They have about 10 or 12 different templates. I typically use this one. It's just personal preference. You can use whatever you like. We'll click select and we'll just kind of show you how to go through and edit the order form page. All right, so here we are. So over here is just the logo. So what we could do is just click on this. We'll hit the X here and we'll just upload our logo. I have uh, one of my logos stored away. There we go. If you wanna change this, add your customer support email, add your own email, add your phone number if you want. It's completely up to you. If you wanna change this background color, what you would do is go to this green, make sure it's highlighted in green, hit the gear and go over to background color on the left. And let's say you wanted to make it red, for example. So there we go. That's how you change that background. If you wanna change any of this, you just highlight this and just change the text here. It's really, really simple to do. We're getting their first name, their last name, and also their email address, credit card, and PayPal. If you want to just, if you're just asking for credit card and you're not uh, connecting your PayPal account, then PayPal won't show up. I use both, so that's why both shows up. But if you don't want to use PayPal, or if you only want to use PayPal and not Stripe, then only PayPal would show up. So you can use either or, or both of them. It's completely up to you. So that's where they are going to add their information here. This is the product that they're purchasing. Confirm order, this is the, uh, the call to action button. If you wanted to change that, you could scroll here. Let's say we wanted to change it to orange and we wanna change the text. We'll scroll up and purchase today with an exclamation mark. You can make that. If you had a guarantee, you can edit that. If you didn't have a guarantee, you could just highlight this blue section and just trash can it right here. Secure order processing. If you got a couple of testimonials, if not, just trash can that. Uh, highlight the benefit, uh, let me go up to the top here. There is a countdown timer. So if you're running some type of a promotion, some type of a sale, you just click the countdown timer. It's really self-explanatory and you can have fixed time and date, delay or daily and you can select the date right here, select the date, and then click the little clock icon and you can select the time that your special offer expires whenever that is. Uh, here is an image of a, like a digital product suite. If you have that, I usually use someone on Fiverr or Funnel Rolodex to create me an image for usually about, usually about 25 to $40. Uh, and then just kind of 
edit any of this text here. You just list out your benefits of whatever you're selling here, a couple of bonuses, and that's really it. It's really simple to edit. I do wanna show one other thing. So I'm gonna show you here in a second on how to add a coupon code. So what we're going to do is scroll down and we're gonna find the coupon element right here. And we're gonna drag it right underneath our, uh, where they enter their credit card information. They are gonna add, actually, you know what? I take that back. Let's go up right there. Let me move it down a little bit if I can. There we go. That's, let me give it a little bit of space so you can click the gear icon and scroll down. There we go, margins. We'll just move it down to about 20, give it a little bit of space. So I'll show you how, how that works in just a second. We'll go over to save changes exit so now what we're going to need to do is attach our product our digital product that we created a couple of videos ago to this specific order form so when the customer purchases they get an automatic email with access to an ebook a training a course a mini course a webinar audio files whatever it is that you're selling if you want to change that order form name if you want to change the url path then just like any other page within system.io it's all up here if you're uh, affiliate commissions this is really cool you can have other people sell your digital products for you or recommend them to friends family their social media following and you can pay them an affiliate per, uh, commission you can do 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent 100 percent whatever you want and then the payout delay if you wanted to pay them every seven days or 14 21 30 days completely up to you down here is the resources tab what we're going to do is click the plus sign and this is where we attach our digital product to this specific order form so select a resource we'll click course choose course we're going to go quick confidence choose course access type so we can give them full access when they purchase or if we're dripping the content out maybe a couple pieces of content every day every other day maybe weekly depending on how you have it set up for this example we're just going to do full access and now we have our course attached to this specific order form now we need to set up a pricing plan right here so we'll go to the right and click plus and select pricing. So we can do a one-time investment, a subscription, or payment plan. So for this example, we're gonna do one shot. Select a payment. We don't have a payment plan set up for this specific product. If it's a brand new product, you're gonna to have to create a new one. Click here. And I'm just gonna call it Quick Confidence Challenge. And what I typically do is just copy that. This is what shows up on your end. This is what shows up on the order form page. I'm gonna show you in just a second. And then the statement description is what shows up on your customer's uh, debit card and or credit card statement. We'll paste it here, type, it's gonna be a one shot. And we are gonna charge um, $37 for this Quick Confidence Challenge. We'll click save and there we go. We set up a pricing plan. Now, if you wanna add a coupon, we need to do that in a separate section. So what we're gonna do is go under products and, service, products and sales. We'll right click and open the coupons window and we'll create a coupon. Now this is optional. You don't have to have a coupon obviously, but what we're gonna do is create coupon. I don't use coupons that often. Very, very rarely do I do it, but it's completely up to you. You certainly could. So what we're gonna do is call this founder special. Let's say maybe you're releasing a course and you're giving the new members or the first time or the first customers of the course a really, really good deal. 50% off, 75% off of what you're going to charge once you release it to the public. Founder, I think I've used Founder before, so we'll call it Founder321. Discount code, we are going to a fixed amount discount or percentage discount. We're going to give them 50% off. Coupon ends the end of September, limit only five coupons available. You can set that to every, whatever number you want. Click create. Now we're gonna go back over to our checkout form. And what we need to do is click save. And then we need to refresh this page since we just created this coupon in another page, or in, in another window, I should say. It might not register within this window, so I wanna make sure it's saved and updated. And I see the coupon window for whatever reason is still uh, thinking. So let me save it one more time. Let me update it or up, update it. We'll scroll down, we'll click the plus for coupons. Discount, fixed amount, we're doing percentage. Choose coupon and what we're going to do is founder discount. That's not for this one. Founder special, founder three, two, one. We'll click save. So now it's all set up. So now what we'll do is click save here and we will preview it. Here is our order form. They're gonna fill out their name information. Uh, they'll, they, have an, they have the option of credit card and or PayPal, whichever they prefer. Yeah, as you can see, quick confidence challenge, the price $37, and we're gonna do our coupon. So it's founder 
three, two, one, which should give us a 50% discount, which is what, 1850, I believe. Yep, there we go. So coupon code worked 50%. The total is 1850. They fill out their information, they click purchase, and they purchased our new training course. So I wanna show you one last thing before we wrap this video up. So back to the settings, what I like to do is set up an automation rule. You can do that here and we're gonna click add rule. And in our previous video, in video day number nine, we set up a tag. So I like creating tags for buyers of everything, all my digital products. So we're gonna go new sale. Anytime a new sale happens, we'll click add action, add tag, choose tag, we'll scroll to the bottom, QC buyer. So that's quick confidence buyer. So anytime someone purchases on the back end of my system, they are going to be tagged with a QC buyer. It just kind of helps with segmenting things in the future if you release another training program revolved around confidence, you might wanna give those people a special deal or you might wanna make sure you email those people to let them know since they've already purchased one thing we've regarding or revolving around confidence, they might wanna pick up a second program from you if they got value from the first one. Uh, so A-B test, this is if you wanted to A-B test the split page, uh, the the order form pages, I don't do that. If you're running a significant amount of traffic, you certainly could do that. Uh, stats, this will just show you the stats, the sales, the order form, the visits and all that. The typical funnel builder, but it's kind of nice to look at your conversion rate. And then of course, if you click on sales, obviously this is a new or a dummy product that doesn't have any sales, but you'd be able to look at the sales. And then this is a relatively new uh, feature that they just added within the last 30 days, I'd say, is the deadline settings. It's very similar to the countdown timer, uh, but you can enable it here and set up the deadline page if it expires in a matter of days. Choose the funnel step. It would, for this specific one, to be on the order form. Time when, bed, when deadline page should expire. And then you just give the time when it expires. Uh, available funnel steps for deadline funnel. It would be on the order form for this. And then you click save. So that is how you set up an order form within system.io. Like I said, it's a relatively straightforward process, but make sure you, you, you connect this resources and also that pricing tab. I forgot to do that when I first set it up and then I, made, I look like an idiot when people are like, there's no price on here, there's no product on here and people couldn't buy, so I looked like an idiot. So make sure you hit subscribe down below, click that little bell notification because in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an order bump. This is going to drastically increase your AOV, your average order value. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you think about the training and make sure you subscribe down to the channel and click that little bell notification because like I said, I got 24 more videos of training videos of not just how to use this software, but how to use it in your business. And I'm going to be giving tips and tricks on marketing, email automation, email marketing, building funnels, all types of stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe down below and then sign up for your free account with system.io, adamdukes.com forward slash SYS. Like I said, you get access to uh, $598 worth of bonuses that's no cost to you. They're completely free. It'll give you instructions on what you need to do on that page down below, adamdukes.com forward slash SYS. Looking forward to putting out to this training series, hoping it helps you grow your business quickly.